Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this tutorial, I'm basically going to be focusing on the foundation, a full coverage foundation with a little bit of illuminizing um, argon oil drops. So I'm mixing these Josie Marin argon illuminizer um, drops with my um, foundation and I'm loving this foundation. It is natural finish, oil free. Um, I am oily so I just absolutely love this foundation. And I'm adding these drops just to give me a little bit more of a glow but it's still going to um not feel so dewy but it just looks dewy so anyways i'm just applying this um with my gigantic kabuki brush here from Tarte cosmetics um just kind of working in circle motions making sure that everything is blended in and then stippling it in the areas where i want more of a full coverage So to conceal and brighten up my under eye area, I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics HD concealers in the shades 3 and 4. So I'm applying 3 first because it has a little bit of like a pink peach undertone and it's going to help cover up any sunspots that I have and it's also going to help brighten up any dark circles that you might have. And then the other one I'm using is the shade 4 and that has a little bit of a yellow undertone um, and that's just going to help conceal and brighten up as well. Um, any areas that I want to highlight. So now I'm just taking this damp beauty blender and I'm just pressing everything into my skin. It's also going to help pick up any excess product that you, if you, you know, applied too much um, or anything, it's just going to help blend everything out and this is just um, an amazing tool to have. Um, make sure it is damp when you are blending everything out. As far as placement, um, I did want to place my concealer all over those areas because that's where I want to highlight and brighten up in my face. Um, if you do just the under eye, you're going to get that raccoon eye effect. Raccoon eye effect. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just how, why I did it. So very seldom do I do cream contouring, but when I do, I like to use this Morphe Brushes Palette um, Concealer Palette in the shade, or in the name at 9FW, I'll put it in the description box down below. Um, so I'm just using this very small stippling brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics, and I'm just applying it into the small areas where I want to chisel everything out, my cheekbones, um, carve out my forehead, and my jawline, and I'm also blending it out with this brush. So setting my face with the Cover FX setting powder in the shade light, I'm starting off with a damp beauty blender, um, just applying the powder with this right under my eye, my T-zone area, and then I'll just grab a big fluffy brush and I'm going to set my face with, um, I didn't show it, but it's the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC42. This is an amazing face powder if you really um, want a full coverage finish. I highly recommend uh, the MAC Studio Fix powders. So going in with this Makeup Revolution Hot Spice Blush Palette, I'm going in with this color. It's kind of like an apricot color. Um, I'm just starting in the back of my high points of my cheekbones and bringing it into the apples of my cheeks.
So this part is not necessary. I could have either skipped the blush part or skipped this part and just had one or the other. Um, so I'm just applying this on the cheekbones. It's just a really pretty um, highlight. Like It's like a bronzy copper color and it's the Lorac Cosmetics Tantalizer. Um, so then on top of that, just on my cheekbones, I'm going to apply the Gerard Cosmetics um, Illuminator, or the, it's called Star Powder. And it's also just like a really pretty highlight in the color Grace. And I'm just applying it in my cheekbones and the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. So to finish off with the lips, I'm going in with MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Whirl. And then on top of that, I'll be going in with the ColourPop Cosmetics Lippy Sticks in the color Lumiere. So you could just leave it like this and just have a matte lip um, that is just really pretty as well. Um, I'm going to add some lip gloss and it's from Laura Cosmetics Peach Luster. Um, and then that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye guys.